Welcome to another video. This is Code Forces round 895 DF3, and we're gonna solve the third problem that is known as non co prime split. So they are given they are giving us two integers, okay? L and R. Always remember that R is greater than or equal to L. L equal to R is possible. L is less than or equal to, less than R also possible. Now our job is to find two integers A and B. It should be always be positive. It can be equal also, no problem. Such that this condition always satisfied. What is the condition? They are giving you L and R. You have to find two integers A and B such that the sum of this will be in the range of L to R. That is one condition and second condition is GCD of both of these numbers should not be equal to 1. So I hope all of you know what a GCD is. It is the greatest common divisor or in other words they, they you can also call it as highest common factor. So GCD of 6, 9, 3 and greatest common divisor of both of them is 3 and 8, 9 only 1 can divide both of them 2, 4 and 2. Let's see, the, let's see some examples. For 11 and 15, they are telling that uh, you can take 6 and 9 because 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 in, is in the range of 11 and 15 and GCD of 6 and 9 is 3. So it is not equal to 1. It is possible. They are also giving you all the possible solutions. 6 and 6 is possible. 5 plus 10 is possible. 4 and 10 is possible. Suppose if you take 6 and 6, it is 12. 12 is in the range of both of them and GCD of 6 and 6 is 6. So that is also possible. Now let's take for 1 and 3. 1 and 3, uh, these are the possible things for a plus b. 1 plus 1 is possible, 1 plus 2 is possible, 2 plus 1 is also possible. But the problem is the GCD of uh, any two numbers here is not uh, greater than 1. It is always equal to 1. So this is invalid. If it is invalid, we say that it is minus 1. Now let's uh, try to find the solution. So always what we know is L is less than or equal to R. Now, uh, whenever uh, they are... Uh, telling something like this let's try to find out through observation are there any general case where we can derive this solution so once you observe properly let's say that uh, for example uh, what is that name greatest common divisor means divisor so a small number can come and uh, the divisor of it also can come so if uh, it is something general case means you can always put two here and a number minus two is also if an even number minus 2 is also a divisor of 2, right? 2 divides them. So suppose let's take 5 and 6. Here, if you want to get 6 means what you have to do? 2 is here. 6 minus 2 is what? 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 5 is less than or equal to 6 is less than or equal to 6. This is L and R. This is A plus B. So I just directly took 2. Suppose if I want something like 5 and 7, I'm just taking the largest number here. Uh, we can take A also, but let me tell you, like we are just trying out. If it is 7, 2 and 7 minus 2 is what? 5. This is not possible. So what do we do? Let's take the before number. That is 6. So 6 is all, also possible, right? 2, 6 minus 2 is what? 4. So 6 is a valid number here. So GCD of this is 2 and 6 is also a valid number. Now we got for L less than R. L less than R directly we know. What did we derive here? Uh, if it is uh, less than, if the R is even number, you can directly do 2 comma R minus 2. Or if r is odd number, you say that 2 comma r minus 1 divided by 2. So that's all. But what can be the case? They already told 1 comma 3 is not possible, right? Because 1 1 is 2 and 1 2 is 3 and 2 1 is 3. But GCD of all of this is not possible. Since they already told L is less than or equal to r, 1 4 is possible here. Because 2 you can take here and 2 you can take here. 2 plus 2 is 4. And GCD is also 5. 5 is also possible. 1 and 5 is also possible because... Uh, you can say that it is 2 and 5 minus 1 is it's odd number so you subtract 1 4 again 2 2 again it is possible why did i take r here because l can be 1 that is possible if it is 1 it is hard to get the answer for this so we always take r but what is the base condition here is if it is 3 it is not possible so what do we write if r is less than or equal to 3 then we have to print c out minus 1 so this is one condition we derived and for even numbers also we derive. What did we do? If uh, L is less than, we'll just try out, okay? If L is less than or equal to R, if R is an even number, then we say that it is C out 2 and R minus 2. Here R will always be less than, uh, greater than 3, okay? Else, if R is an odd number, you do R minus minus and do the same thing here. C out 2 r minus 2 since both of them are same how can we generalize it if r is odd number simply do r minus minus and you print c out to r minus 2 
Now let's take the test case examples and try to figure out whether it's correct or not. So for even numbers, everything exists, but 777. So according to our logic, uh, it's it's not possible, right? 777 will become 776. 776 is much less than this. This is not possible, right? So what do we do in such a case? What did they give? Triple one and triple six. And there is also one more number like uh, 179, 179, 179, 179, 179. So here also we can't uh, subtract two here. It is going out of range. So we understood that, okay, uh, it is not R less than or equal to three. R is less than or three is odd. Sorry, L less than or equal to three is not possible. Equal to is not possible. Only L less than three is solved. Now let's try for the case. What if L is equal to equal to R? So one thing that is obvious here is if both are same, right? So if L is an even number, we can say that you can simply print two and you can print R minus two or L minus two. That is valid, right? If L is an even number, it is greater than three, obviously. It is four equal to equal to four or something. It is this. But what if it's an odd number? Odd number, you can't say it can be three, it can be five, it can be a multiple of seven, anything. So for that, what do we do? Uh, we just have to find what is the lowest divisor that is possible. So we have a function called as the prime function, right? So what does a prime function do? We check for two first, we check for three until the square root of n, we keep on checking. So whenever we are able to find the least uh, divisor, I'm not telling least, one of its devices. So whenever we get a divisor, that will be the first number will be a least divisor, right? So whenever you are getting that divisor, just return that number and just put that divisor and L minus two. So it will be prime of L if you are checking for this. Uh, you can simply print C out. Uh, suppose a prime of L is what you are getting a number like X. You can print X is the prime of that number and L minus X. Suppose let's say you are getting like 49 equal to equal to 49. L and R is 49. So in this case, what you can print, you can print uh, 7. 7 is the least divisor of this and 49 minus 7 is how much? 42. Both are divisors of 7. So 49 less than or equal to a plus b that is 49 and 49. So this is one case. But uh, there can be cases that we did not get any uh, minus one case. We got only minus one case for r less than or equal to 3. Can I always say that if, uh, if you are able to find a divisor then we can print like this. But what if it's a prime number? For a prime number only itself and one is a divisor right so for example 11 11 is a prime number if the gcd of 11 and 1 is what one only so in that case if according to our logic if the prime of l is equal to equal to l itself because in prime number you might notice that once we are, have tried out all the possible combinations like 2 3 everything if n is greater than 2 we can directly return that number so we are unable to find anything. We don't want one. We are unable to find anything. So I'm just telling that uh, this is the number. So in this case also, you have to print minus one. So let's understand. So these are all the conditions that we derived. What are we did? We did, uh, we already saw from the test case that R is less than or equal to three is not possible. Now through observation, we found that any number, uh, if it's an even number, it will have two as the factor. So two comma this. So if it's an odd number, we will just adjust it. Now we assumed that L less than or equal to works, R works, but in the test case they told L equal to equal to R can have different values. So if L equal to equal to R and if it's an even number, you can directly do it. Or if it's an odd number, you can take X and prime minus X. And uh, if the prime number is same as that number in the prime function, then you can print minus one. But one more thing you can optimize is here, if it's an even number, it's two, right? It will be directly part of the prime function. So you don't have to do this. You can directly try out if prime of L equal to equal to X. No, if uh, I'm telling like prime of L, the least prime value is X means you can print X and uh, L minus X here. So let's understand this with the help of a code. So as I told earlier, if R is less than or equal to through minus one, if L is less than R, if the R is an odd number, very important. If it is one and four, you cannot take L. R is the maximum possible value. So if it's an even number, you print two and R minus two. If it's an odd number, you simply subtract one from it. That is three, uh, not, sorry. That is one comma five means you simply subtract one. That is four comes here and uh, 
you subtracted 4 r becomes 4 so 2 and uh, 4 minus 2 is 2 so similarly like that now we understood that this, uh, in l equal to equal to r such a situation is might not be possible so to generalize it i am telling that uh, you get the least uh, prime number that is possible so that is this is the prime function as you know uh, we'll check for all the two factors then three factors everything till the square root of n whatever be the divisor we are getting we are just uh, sending back to the main function if you are able to find a divisor you print the prime number and l minus prime as i told earlier for 49 it is 7 and 42 so that is also possible so uh, like this is 49 less than or equal to 7 plus 42 less than or equal to 49 now when can this case come in the case of 11 right in the case of 11 if ll is uh, 11 here 11 mod 2 is not possible square root of 11 this function won't work so 11 is greater than 2 according to the prime function we are returning the same number if we return the same number we can't find any divisor for it so we print uh, directly minus 1 so that's all about it and this is the code if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments and share your thoughts and that's all thank you see you in the next video